Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena gameplay. Before we get into today's video, go ahead and click the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all my videos. Let me know in the comments what you think. They finally released the Pillage and Plunder event and also the Celestial Isles. So we'll be taking a look at both of those. Let's go ahead and get into the video. First, we'll take a look at the Pillage and Plunder event. This is an event that you actually have a balloon. You can go attack a opposing clan or an opposing enemy and fight five on five. So kind of similar to Guild Wars. Um, 50 gems to purchase additional fuel, which I believe refills re every two hours. So I did both of my attacks. This was the first one. Um, as you can see, there's actually nobody there. So we'll go ahead and start the pillage. It removes the first little barrier where you enter. Come in here, pick up all your loot. Um, I'm gonna edit out the second one because it's the exact same. So I just got free loot for the whole entire thing. So got a significant amount of guild coins, which is good. Just saving those up to buy some more um, Mythic Plus gear. So the other event we're looking at is the Celestial Isles. So as you can see, you get to choose your own hero, which will be that final little top left slot. Looking at the options that I have, uh, the Celestial Heroes are later on that you can unlock them because right now we're on island number one. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Gwyneth because she's a hero that I would actually use if I did get more copies. And we'll go ahead and go ahead and begin. So it looks like it's mixing everything up, so I'm not going to know exactly where she's at. And once you do find her, you can continue on with the board or you can actually take a portal to the next event. Unfortunately, right now I don't have any keys, so you got two places that you can get keys. A daily quest chest, one per key, one key per chest, so meaning that you can get five a day. So looking at five a day, you'll get 40 keys total, so you should be able to get at least one free hero, which is nice for free. So we'll go ahead and we'll complete two of our quick little daily quests. We'll pick up our key, and it looks like we do have a key in every single chest, so yep, you do get five. I'm not sure if the weekly chests contain them, which I do not see them, nope. So nothing in the weekly chest. So let's go ahead and do our first summon for it. Maybe we'll go ahead and pull her right off the bat and move on to a new board. Nope, 30 gems it is. So let's just look, the other place you can actually buy them is of course the store. Uh, for $19.99 you can get six keys, $50 for 15 keys, and $100 for 30 keys. So 30 keys would uh, ensure that you would get the hero that you chose. So if you want to spend 100 bucks or $200 to get two copies of the same hero, that's kind of a huge pay to win, dropping $200 just like that, when you could have so many other options. But for the amount of keys, I guess if there's a hero you really want, so we'll just go ahead and knock out a couple of these little dailies. Go to the King's Tower, we'll just skip through the, bat, the match. We'll go through the regular campaign. We'll just skip through the match. Easy way if you're not really focusing on it right now because I don't know who's got what gear. So we'll go ahead and just accumulate a couple more keys here. See if we can get lucky with anything. So let's see, we'll go right there. One elite stone, another elite stone. So two more elite stones, some enhancement tokens and I'm out of keys again. So here's your possible reward, some common scrolls, one faction scroll. So I'm not sure if the islands, the higher the level islands, the better the rewards. I really hope so, but unfortunately that will do it. I'll go back really quick and grab my last key and hope for a good summons. And we'll see what I get in here. Let me do my last summons and that will sum it up for the day. Thank you for watching.